Hello, so this will be a 14 days post-op video and how to change your bandages video because I got a request to do that on Tumblr. Somebody wanted to know how to change my bandages, so I will show you. So the first thing that you need to do is take a shower. You don't have to shower. To be completely honest, I've had my bandages off for eight days now and I've only showered three times. Three? Yeah, three times in those eight days. And the reason for that is because my right nipple gives me a lot of anxiety. Um, because when I take the zero form off, which I'll show you what it is, um, it looks like the top of the nipple part is actually going to fall off of the areola. And it gives me a lot of anxiety. I did email Garamoni with the picture and he says it's normal. But it still gives me a lot of anxiety. And I do hold my right nipple when I'm in the shower because I just, I don't want my nipple to fall. So let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need. So you're going to need first, and this is just for the Garamoni, because I don't know how any other surgeons uh, deal with their post-op-ness, but so you're going to be using this zero form uh, dressing, I guess, that Garamoni gives you at your post-op appointment. Okay, then you're going to need band-aids, um, big, big old band-aids, like the ones that you've seen in my other videos. Band-aids like this big that will cover your entire nipple. Now, a lot of people have been telling me to like just use gauze and then tape it and it'll help with the itchy and the... Because the adhesive on the the, the band-aid kind of itches a lot. <laughs> and um, it's not as bad as the itching that the tape like this with the gauze pad actually gives you. So for that, I would really recommend to use a band-aid and not a, a gauze pad over your nipple with tape. If you want to do that, that's fine, but for me, that is hell to take off because the sticky part is damn sticky and it irritates my skin and it's red and I just want to... <sighs> so now that you have your band-aids, you're also going to need ointment cream, like polysporin or whatever antibiotic cream, uh, ointment, it's not cream, what's it called? Like, ointment. And you're also going to need a gauze pad like this that you can cut in half or you can have two like this with some tape for your skin that will be itchy. So the first thing that you're going to do is, and keep in mind that this is my first time actually doing this by myself, Zuja usually does it for me because I'm a big baby and my arms still can't really move all that well. And um, she's in the shower right now and I decided I'm going to be a big boy and I'm going to try to do it by myself. So this stuff is like really sticky and like the way that it opens is just like ridiculous. So let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like inside. So it looks like this and you're going to have to cut a piece that'll fit around your nipple. You have to cut two pieces because you have two nipples. Okay, so now that you have your two pieces here, so here's one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate exactly... I didn't even show you my chest. It's 14 days post-op. I'm so sorry. I'm just... I'm all over the place and I have a lot of anxiety. So what you're going to do if you're doing this alone... Okay, here's my chest. Um, let's talk about my nipple. It's still doing that thing where it looks like it's going to pop up. And I'm still a little anxious about my chest because my incision aren't straight and that's specifically what I asked for. So you're gonna take this here, you're gonna put it on top of your nipple. Okay. So that's on top of your nipple. You're gonna take a little ointment. This is a little too much, but I usually like to put it around the corner so that it sticks to my skin. You're gonna put it on your nipple. Like this. And like I said, I like to put it around my skin so that the zero form stuff sticks to me. That's good. Same thing with the other nipple. Let's put it a little closer so that you can actually see what my nipple looks like. There you go. See, it looks really weird on top, and that's because it looks like there's a stitch missing. But apparently it's normal. So go ahead and do that. Make sure it covers the entire nipple. This one's a bit small, but that's okay. And there you go. He does give you two of the packets that I just showed you of the zero form, so you don't have to freak out. You have to do this for three weeks after your band-aids have come off. Okay, so once that's over and done with, you're going to go ahead and open up your little big, big old band-aids. Okay, make sure you don't touch the white part. And you're going to go ahead and put it on your nip. There you go. It's really recommended as well that you wait 10 minutes, um, 5 to 10 minutes after your shower to make sure that you air dry so that the sticky part of the band-aid will get on, which is what I have done by the time this video um, has taken up. Oh. You really have to try not to put the band-aid on your strips because it makes me uncomfortable and I have to rip it off. But um, these should come off really soon. It's just because they haven't come off yet because I haven't showered um, 
often because like I told you, my nipples give me anxiety. So the last part here um, that I won't be able to demonstrate is the part with the gauze. Now, the reason why you need two pieces of gauze is because where your drain holes are, which is that hole right there, you have to put a gauze and then on the gauze you put a little ointment and then you have to cross this, okay? and you stick it on to here. Now the reason I'm not going to show you that is first of all it's a really awkward position and I stopped doing it yesterday because there is um, no more hole. I'm pretty sure that it's healed and I've come to this conclusion because when I put the gauze on it there used to be like liquid and disgusting stuff and blood and now there's no more. Alright so that's it, that's the bandages, that's how you do it. Now what I like to do at the end, you don't have to do this, Garamoni said that within the two weeks after your bandages have been off, you can put this back on. I do for a sense of security because I feel really weird having everything exposed, so I like when I'm outside, um, I like putting this around. Not too tight, it's just to know that it's there, it's just a sense of security for me. It's, if someone bumps on me, I take public transit and stuff like that, it gives me anxiety. Also want to apply, apologize for my room, it's really, really dirty, and um, I can't move anything around, and the Lush bag is Zuja's, and I'm really jealous because she bought a face mask. Alright, I hope you guys have a great week. If you need me to make a video about anything specifically related to my top surgery or anything like that, please let me know and I will go ahead and make that for you. Alright, have a great week.